The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the recently concluded general election in Nigeria, Mr. Pitobi, marked his 62nd birthday in a style not too common in Nigeria. Well, we will be taking you to just Plateau State, where he went to see the executive governor of the state and some a prominent persons. Then from there, he proceeded to some IDP camps where he celebrated his birthday in a grand style. I would stand as a mark of honor and respect to one who has been a two-time governor and one who has redefined Nigerian politics. Sir, we want to say welcome home and uh, to truly wish you a happy birthday. In the midst of difficulties and challenges of life, we will not forget to thank God for the mercies that he has shown us. And I'm sure you have a lot to thank God for. We're highly honored, sir, for this visit, that you thought it wise to come and commiserate with us. We do not take it lightly. Coming to be able to share in the affliction that has come upon us. Indeed, Mangu particularly has been in the news because it was one of the most peaceful local governments. But people forget also about Riom because it looks as if in Riom now the killing has become normal, which is the local government of my deputy. And uh, it, it's to curious minds, they wonder why the attacks began in earnest in those two local governments. And sometimes you cannot but link it to uh, some other ulterior motives. But whatever it is, we know that the loss of one life is painful. But to lose at the last count in the last two, three months, about 300 plus is a national disaster. And all we are asking is that this carnage must stop. It has to. Uh, we didn't come into government to be burying people. We came to advance the cause of our people. And by the grace of God, this we will do. Amen. We want to wish you the best. Uh, sometimes what happens in life you cannot understand. Uh, sometimes the graph 
the line in life does not go straight and um, uh, God's ways are not our ways and um, as we watch God do what he has planned to do concerning Nigeria one thing I'm confident of is that God has a good plan for Nigeria one thing I want you to know sir is that you have changed the political landscape in Nigeria You're talking about a Nigeria that walks. This is a passion we share in. You're talking about the son of a poor man, nobody becoming something. The person standing before you is one. I'm sure if they were looking for great men to become governors, I wouldn't be one. And I know that since it has happened with some of us, it will happen with several others. I'm sure the IDP see you will mean so much to them. And we want to pray that the good Lord who brought you safely will take you back safely. Thank you and God bless. So we had to come straight and say, I'm sure by the grace of Almighty God, it will never happen again. Yeah. Like I said earlier and just today, we are country. This should not be happening in the country. We should be loving and caring for each other. No, you do not you get what you want. Thank you and God bless you.